Hello everyone. I wanted to give you a tour of uh, my scrapbooking room and updated tour. It's been a while since I've done one. I hopefully won't make this too shaky, but here we go. So this is kind of a view as you walk into my room. I'm at the doorway right now, as you can see this holder. It holds my cuddle bug, and I usually have some of the plates in there. Down here is one of my um, slicers. Oh my gosh, I can't think of the names. This is fairly new since I've made changes to my room. I used to have my TV, but now it holds all of my papers, as you can see. It's an uh, old. Uh, armoire. Right there are some of my 8 by 11 paper, my stamping up cardstock. Not a lot, but I try to use it. Here holds more of my different papers and everything. I haven't really gone through and organized it yet. I still have to organize it, but see some of the things I try to keep together in their original package. I've become in love with Echo Park paper. Some more of my paper. Over here is my television and my printing station. Have it set up on a stand here. A big window so you can look outside when you're crafting. This here is my crafting table. It's just a fold-up table. But it works for me. Underneath, I don't know if you can see, it's just some storage and stuff. Nothing really under there. Let's take a look over here. This here is my tote bag. I don't know if they make them anymore, but it holds my everyday things, what I use for crafting, etc. So here it's just a wheelie cart. So I put a few things in there if I'm wanting to work on things. Again, on my table. My chair. An extra little mini table if you need it. My Cricut. I used vinyl in my Cricut when I made the cover for or the stencil for it with my name. That just holds nicks and knacks. Maybe one day I'll go into a bigger detailed video. Um, one of the things I've recently found on another post, I think it was what to bring to a crop, was a way to just have a carry case for everyday things. So if you're taking it to a crop. So I found this fishing tackle box. And what I like about it is you can hold various things. So in here I've got a whole bunch of brads and got some my mini stamp up inks. Didn't really know what to do with them. It's got lots of compartments. I think it was about twenty dollars at the Canadian Tire Store. Um, this is my wall with some vinyl stencils. My live, laugh, love I got at a craft sale a long time ago. Heart frames my husband and I made on our honeymoon. We went on Alaskan cruise. He even made one. That's just kind of holds all and ends. My little board and a cord for my tablet. This here, it's not an expedite, but it's similar. It's just not as deep. I got this from Home Depot last year. I needed more room and more space to put my stuff in. So I just kind of go through one compartment. Got here are my chalks. I have to use them more, but lots of chalks and everything. My scoreboard. My Cricut matte paper. I got those on sale a while ago because they're really hard to find where I live. This is where I keep my Stampin' Up inks. 
and this is here it's where I keep my glitter stuff and in here sorry this one I think it's perfect pearl stuff I took a class on them for Tim Holtz sorry we made just different things using the Tim Holtz stamping techniques a couple years ago. Had lots of fun with that. And then all the techniques and what to do are on the back. This is my ribbon storage. Here's some more paper, more of my cardstock papers and stuff. I try to lay those ones flat. In here, I got this little cute basket from Michael's and it holds all my punches. So because I don't have a ton of punches and bubble paper. Here's just various stuff. This from ones and eyes or holds a lot of my different things. And here is my eye top. And here is where I keep my so easy kit and so easy stamping. Stamp blocks. This is where I keep all of my Cricut cartridges. My mini mini pads, 4x6 mini pads basically. And here I just keep my uh, gel inks. And there is where I keep a lot of my close to my heart stamps and Tim Holtz stamps. Up here is where I keep my stamping up inks. My adhesive Cricut blades. My, uh, my, uh, what is it called? The Imagine Essence Heat Setter. Sorry. Love it. Just various other things. And some baskets. And then here is kind of just odds and ends and magazines and things like that. Some extra papers. And then this is my unorganized shelf. I wasn't really going to show it, but that's okay. I'm going to show it anyways. It's a little organized, but not too much. Okay, various stuff. But as you can see, it's not a very big room, but it works. I love it. I'm glad to have it. And I hope you enjoyed it too. Sorry that this wasn't a very big video, but wanted to give a quick tour of my room. Thank you.